We're going to talk a little rivalry game going into the break. We talked about Johnsonville and Hemingway. Every time these two meet, I tell you what, it is one of the best games of the year. We take you out there to Hemingway, Johnsonville in town, and there are the Tigers ready for a little football action. Let's get it going here from Hemingway, South Carolina. As we start the highlights, Johnsonville looking to get in. McCray, however, stripped. Coakley recovers at the goal line. A huge turnover for the Golden Flashes. They had a chance to take an early lead. Troy Singletary, oh, he's going to hit his man, Darius Taylor. And I tell you what, talk about a pretty pass. 95 yards for the score. And all of a sudden, the Tigers have got themselves on the board in an early lead. But the Flashes come back. They go to their main man, Robert Ripley. Three yards out, scampers in, give him the touchdown. He had a big night. And the score is tied at eight on the kickoff. Salem Skinner looking for plenty of room, trying to find his blockers. He'll hit the corner. He's going to cut back, and he's going to cut all the way back, and he's going to find Paters. Give him the touchdown. Whoa, that's some good special teams play there. The Tigers looking to answer the bell. But look at the little man. McCray working hard for the first down. That's some tough sledding there. It's going to lead to this. Presley breaking off, and he is gone. 70 yards to the house for the score. Almost got tripped up there. Give him the touchdown. But unfortunately, Robert Ripley and Johnsonville too much tonight. This one golden flashes, and they roll away with it. 47 to 14, Johnsonville over Hemingway. The flashes. Improved to three and one. Tigers dropped to two and two. Check out these numbers from Robert Ripley. 32 carries, two touchdowns, 251 yards. That's pretty salty right there, my friends. Very big night for Robert Ripley. Another all zoner from last year. He keeps putting up numbers like this. He'll be at the banquet again this year. This is a big win for Johnsonville as next week they return home to take on HP. We'll see how that one plays out. As for Hemingway, it doesn't get any easier because now they go to Andrews who had a bye this week and the Jackets are playing extremely well. So we're going to see what goes on next week in Andrews, South Carolina as the Tigers come down to take on Andrews. That should be a doozy this time next Friday night.